So, Shingeki no Kyojin, episode 3. Um, so yeah, pretty much it's, I guess, time passed, and now they join some training regime or some military crap. And yeah, so they have this commander guy who's pretty much just talking shit to them. He talks shit to Armin, to some other chick, and to some Jean dude who I guess he's like, I want to join the military police, sir. And he's all, he headbutts him and tells him like, well, you're not going to get in with that kind of skills or some shit. And some Marco kid who says he wants to serve the king, but the guy's like, I don't think the king swings that way, but whatever. We also get this other kid named Connie Springer, who I only remember his name because it's a guy, but his name's Connie, and I thought that was a girl's name, and I don't know, but he fucks up the salute, gets picked up by his head, and gets more shit talked to, but then we get the best moment of the entire scene right now, or the entire fucking episode, we're finally introduced to the best character to me, which is this chick, because she just doesn't give a fuck, and she's eating this potato just randomly, like, hmm, yeah, right now's a good time, and the guy's really irritated, like, what the fuck are you doing, why are you eating a potato, and she just replies with troll responses, it's good, sir, uh, people eat potatoes, sir, and she eventually gives him half, and she, like, tries to fake a grin because she still wants to eat that half, but whatever. So, yeah, we're introduced to Potato Chan, or best girl in the series. Anyway, we continue on, and I guess some people got kicked out or they quit, which is kind of sad because all they did that day apparently is just get yelled at. So, I don't know, whatever, I guess if you quit that way. Oh, I just went to the army, got yelled at, and decided, you know what, this isn't for me, but whatever. So... Eventually, um, Aaron, I guess, they talk with him about the other Titans, they ask him questions about them, they're like, oh man, what about that 60 meter Titan? He's like, 60 meter Titan? Ain't shit. Well, what about that armor Titan? Armor Titan? He ain't shit either. Well, what about the normal Titans? And that one gets him, and he freaks out, and he has, like, flashbacks of his mom being eaten or some shit, and everyone's like, oh shit, maybe we shouldn't bug him. And he, I guess he ends up, he's like, nah, fuck it, Titans ain't shit, I'ma kill all of them, all that crap. So, eventually, we get the Gene guy again or whatever, and he's like, you were talking all that good shit a second ago, really? Like, you think you could do that? And they end to some argument, I think about, like, their morals of what you should do in training, or who, like, military police and be safe, or, like, go scout legion, or whatever the fuck. And I thought they were gonna fight and kick each other's asses, but no, they ended up just like high fiving and like, oh, it's cool, bro. I didn't mean nothing. No, no, it's cool, bro. We're homies. Yeah, GG, like some shit, but whatever. So eventually, we also notice that this Jean guy has a crush on Mikasa, or I'm pretty sure that's her name. I don't know. I've been watching Railgun too much, mixing up the names. Um, anyway, so he has a crush on her. Eventually, he notices that she's pretty much hanging out with Aaron all the time, so he gets mad and he's all like, oh, I've lost my faith in humanity or some crap like that on connie or whatever um anyway and then we also have a scene where potato girl is she's still finishing her running and she passes out and then she smells the scent of blood or food or some shit and attacks and we get to meet this little blonde girl who i don't even remember her name or whatever and then eventually potato chan just kills her food or whatever and fucking calls her a god and we meet this other black hair freckle bitch or some shit but none of them really meant anything to me in this so far or I, I didn't notice anything that's crazy anyway continue on from that so they do the training the next day and mikasa doesn't give a fuck she does the like hanging out thing with the 3d gear or whatever and potato chan and the others are just like swinging and shit but apparently aaron can't do it so he fucking just can't handle it keeps falling he tries again to learn again and he eats shit and headbutts the ground or whatever so yeah so he's fucked he gets made fun of by other people who are like, oh shit, isn't that the guy who said he was going to kill all the Titans? Oh, 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 what an arrogant brick. Oh, what a noob. I oh, can't even use 3D gear, but whatever. So he goes on. He goes to ask some other people for help. He asks these two dudes who pretty much just made fun of him earlier, the Gene guy and like Connie or whatever, and they pick on him and they're like, what, you need our help? Oh, aren't you going to kill all the Titans or some shit like that? And he eventually goes to these other two dudes, and I don't know who the fuck they were, but he they explained their life stories, apparently, and they're like, oh, well, when the Titans attacked the village, we didn't get a warning, because no one gave a fuck about us, so I didn't find out until I opened the window, and then I was like, oh, a Titan, or some shit, but, yeah, so anyway, they continue on, and they have some discussion about, like, why Aaron wants to be, kill the Titans, or fight them, or some shit, and they ro they go through some like forest and to some random river or some shit and once they reach the lake he's like you know what aaron you could do it by the way tomorrow adjust your belt like really like doesn't that imply that like this guy knows something or has been fucking with your gear bro like i don't know whatever and then the next day they do the training he's successful and then he's shit and he starts breaking down, and he's all like, no, don't send me out, sir, you don't know what they do to the homeless over there, they do horrible things to little boys, sir, and he's like, give me your belt, and he's like, oh shit, it's gonna happen here, sir, and he's like, give me your belt, switch it with him, 
and they switch belts and then Aaron can do it perfectly so it turns out he's really good at it and they're like oh I guess your belt was rusted I didn't even know that could happen huh that's weird so yeah and I guess the commander guy talks to like Aaron's mom or says something like Gritchen your daughter or your son is might as well be a daughter your son is now a soldier but whatever and then he flies off into the forest but yeah, other than that, um, I don't know, it was a pretty good episode. I like the whole introduction of the Potato Chan girl, like, she is fucking hitting everything on A, and I don't know, it really made the episode. I'm kind of just hoping that the next episode has a little more action or some events happening or whatever. But yeah, still, series has me, I'm probably gonna keep watching it and stuff, and sorry for the late review, I've had a couple of other things I've been having to deal with and work out. But yeah, next one will hopefully be a lot more on time. But yeah. So if you like the video, like it. If you want more, subscribe. And yeah, thanks for watching. Later.